Greetings, greetings, greetings. Uh, welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. It is October 16th, and what a beautiful day it is, isn't it? So good to be here with you. Well, I thought I'd start today uh, our sessions with a little bit of a music, and I started the music, and as I was going to change it, it, it stopped this entire thing. So I'm redoing it. Hi, Becky. Oh, we're going to do something completely different. I thought, um, change the modality. Hi, John. Hi, Becky. It's so good to have you, John. Mm. Man, I still love you. And uh, thank you. Thank you for all your posts, for the beautiful pictures, and, of course, the comments. I'm so in line with you in many ways. Uh, yeah, so he'll talk Tuesdays. I thought I'm going to change our format just a little bit. Uh, start with something happy, put some music, have my tea. What am I having today? I'm having turmeric ginger tea. It's so delicious. Why? Because I think turmeric is good for a lot of things. It's... Um, it's good for your body. It's good for your uh, immune system. And, of course, ginger is a healthy food, and tea is so good. This week, I've had more tea than I've had coffee, and that's a very good thing. Uh, of course, I used to drink a lot of coffee, but um, it's good to mix and mingle, mix and change things. So... What are we doing nowadays? Uh, hello, Amy. What What is going on in our life right now? October, it's halfway through October. I'm already seeing Christmas stuff out there. And holidays, not even Thanksgiving, but Christmas. Next thing I know is by the end of this month, they're going to put the hearts in there. What is this with the media constantly pushing us forward into weeks before, months before? And it's like, I don't want you to be present with who you are. I don't want you to be present with where you are. It's time for you to be futuristic, right? So, I mean, how do you like it? How do you like in October without being Halloween for you to think about December? And it's a lot of stress. It's a lot of pressure. I mean, no wonder there's so many people going through holiday blues and stress, uh, feeling overwhelmed, expectations happening, and just talking about it was stressful. I went to... Uh, the store, it's Home Goods, and they have so much stuff in there. I felt like, oh, I can't move. If I touch something, if it breaks, I have to buy, and maybe I don't want to buy it. Um, so how, how do you handle these stressful times? Um, I had a client who came in just yesterday. And uh, she's going through a lot of stress. She's going through a lot of stress. Um, what is her stress? She's under a lot of uh, pain. She's in a lot of pain. She is overwhelmed. She's a mother of three kids. Um, her husband works full time and sometimes overtime to make ends meet. She has not worked for over two months, and she's starting her chemotherapy. And she smiled. She smiled and said, how eerie is it that I come to you, and it's October, and it's Cancer Awareness Month, and I was referred to you for you to help me relax while I'm going through chemo. Well, if, hi, Chris. Hello, Norbert. If you did not know, 
instead of being pushed into so much stress and that's what she was feeling she was feeling not the stress of her illness of what she's going through but how her kids are feeling what the husband is going through not only working but worrying about the children worrying about her wellness so she is more worried about them than she was of her own disease. So contemplating what to do next because she couldn't relax, she can't sleep very well, and that's why she was referred to me. By the way, for those of you who do not know me, by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. I do hypnosis as I use, not I do, I use hypnosis as a tool to help my clients, either individually or in group, relax and tap within their own body. So truly mind-body connection, treating the person as a whole, not just the disease they came in for. So if you come, if she came in for uh, her pain, managing her pain, the not so much physical pain, but emotional pain. She came in because she cannot sleep very well, the insomnia part of it, and feeling overwhelmed. In the first session, I helped her relax and just drop into that state of oneness within herself just to put her hand right here and accept and appreciate who she is, who she is. And I'm not going to say her name, but we'll just say Ms. H. So she had literally dissed herself, forgotten about herself, put herself in the back burner, and has been constantly worried about the husband, the children, the family, her parents, and everyone else. So in the an hour and a half, close to an hour and 45 minutes that she was with me, she walked in with all those stresses. And as she was walking out, she had tears in her eyes saying, I forgot how to relax and let go. And that's what I do. I help someone reconnect with their core, with who they are, with themselves, and just come for the duration of that an hour and a half, learn and get tools, coping mechanisms to help themselves. Yes. You know what I'm doing today? Something I haven't done in such a long time. And, and I wouldn't have done it if she had not prompted me in doing so. So thank you, Ms. H. She said, why aren't you promoting? You know, one of the things that I do, um, I have 12 audio recordings for various types of modalities and things that we want to make a change. Yes, they are hypnosis, uh, CDs, audio recordings. I've put in heart and soul into this. Years of putting together my own script and then putting the CDs together, of course, with my own. Um, each one is connected with the issue that I wanted to talk about. And so for, for this ease of cancer, uh, the cover is connected with that, which is the pink. And it's called Healing Cocoon, Manage, Managing Living with Cancer. The other one is more of a deeper pink and orangey. It's called Boost Your Immune System. So. As you are going, if you know anyone, those are beautiful gifts for them. So they can just take an hour 
or even 40 minutes of their time to cocoon themselves. Cocooning into this place of inner safety, inner protection, inner love, inner self of healing every nerve, every muscle, every organ, every tissue within themselves into processing. And if there is any disease, if there is any discord, if there is any pain, either emotional, physical, of course, mental comes automatically. So they can send those messages, you know, thought creates healing. When we think by thinking, we feel when we feel we get to experience and once we experience we can turn it into a reality so everything starting from our thought that when we get to feel i'm sending each and every thought as they go into that state of relaxation close their eyes and become one with the sound of my voice the hypnotic voice that i use they delve deeper within themselves and reconnect with every essence of who they are and send vibrations and energy of love and light and healing, releasing the pain, releasing feeling overwhelmed and duress, and letting it go, and just sending light and love to heal the wound to heal the pain within, even if it is cancerous. So that's one. And I also want to talk about this. This is a DVD. It is not audio recording, even though there is sound and there is images. It is specifically for mind-body com communication during cancer and it's not only for individuals who are going through it but the caregivers to look and to relax and to feel stronger and empowered so i believe in these cds because i have helped so many clients it is october it is for us to truly be Sending light and love for those who are going through cancer, for those who are going through emotional pain, physical pain, mental pain, mental illness. And instead of drugging yourself, instead of suppressing yourself, other than the ones that are recommended by your doctor, I wish that you could find ways to express express what you feel, express your hurt. Hmm? And for that, I wanna know how can I be of help? How can I help you more? My Heal Talk Tuesdays are here for you. Every week that I come, I come because of my clients. I come because People who refer clients to me believe it because they have, they have received what they came in for. What is it that I say? It's imagine it, desire it. And when you have that imagination, which I'm, I have this thing I call my signature method. It's called the 3E method. Why? Because we evoke what was. What does that mean? It's like going tapping within ourselves and bringing to surface what we need to focus on, one, understand, maybe not even understand, but just to acknowledge, right? Because if we don't acknowledge what is wrong, what is off, or our blocks, hey, I've had my own. I've had my own roadblocks that I created by me for me and i've been there done that i came to this i came to this healing method 
doing hypnotherapy and stress management because I healed myself through this method, this tool. 20 years ago, I was an assistant to attorney and I wanted to be an attorney. Working nine years as a paralegal and assistant attorney. And for whatever reason, my entire body broke down to a point that the acupuncturist that I was seeing referred me to a hypnotherapist. And it was the hypnotherapist that helped me for me to bring forth of what it is. First, relaxing me to tap within. And once we come to realize that, then it is to embrace. Embrace everything that is happening. Good, bad, right, wrong, up, down, it doesn't matter. Embracing you as a human, first and foremost, with your dark, with your light, with all the bad and everything you have done, or all the good Mother Teresa part that you are. We all have a shadow. Everyone has a shadow and everyone has their good points. So it's embracing what is right here, right now. And instead of the media constantly pushing us three months ahead, it's be real now. And then we get to evolve. We get to heal, we get to achieve, we get to move forward in life. And that is heal within. That's how transformation begins. So let me take a sip. I hope this makes sense. If you are watching this right here live with me, uh, say something. Let me know you are here. Just give me a one or a hello, whatever it is. If my voice is cracking, if the video is not good, if the message is deep, no matter what it is, I take each and every one of your suggestions as a critique, not a criticism. And I like critiques so I can bring you what you want. I can speak about things that are more value, bringing value to you, that I can help you in any way that I can. What I like to call it, I don't have one, but opening my Felix the Cat box and that bag and saying, I've got many, many tools been practicing as a clinical hypnotherapist for 20 years. But you know what? If I don't know the answer, I will find from someone who's a colleague or a doctor or anyone else that will be of help to you. So I open the door, a dialogue to work with you, to help you or your loved ones. Hmm. I'd like to say let's do a music to end today. But how about we take a moment? And if you pray, let's call it prayer. Or focus. And just your eyes, close your eyes and think of someone. Someone you love someone dear to you, someone you like within your family, your friends, your neighbors, colleagues, whatever. And if you believe they are going through some hard times at this very moment, be it cancer, be it hardship, physical, mental, emotional, personal, financial, professional, Let us send a moment of love and light. As if saying, this moment is dedicated to you. And together, the energy 
the essence of all of us combined together, taking this very moment for a prayer. It will not be only you, but it's all of us praying for that one person together. So our energy at, at this moment is bigger and it's multiplied for however people are watching right here, right now. And it doesn't matter if it is live or the repeat. So let us all give that energy to the person you are praying for, you are thinking of, for their health, their wellness, their well-being. And if they're going through tough times, may we wish them strength. If they are with this ease, may we all come together, wish them healing. So, a moment of silence. Yeah? I like to consider mirrors and candles. We light a candle. I can light a candle. And I will light a candle. Um, let me light a candle for everyone. Here's a candle. And I will do as I say. And at this very moment, I'm even going to use a candle that I have never even used. And this one, it's called lemongrass. Wow, it's connected with our solar plexus. Our solar plexus are our core. Uh, the solar plexus are also our digestive area, which is our tummy which is our core and stomach area. And let's see, can you see the candle right here? I'm gonna light it up. Hmm. Well, I just bring that one, there we go. Okay, so we have this candle lit, and this candle is lit for the people you just thought of and prayed for, and uh, may the universe and God send the same healing to protect them, cocoon them, love them, and may they be in light. With this, I wish you all the best for today. God bless you. May the universal light also be with you. And what is it that they say? May the force be with you. And why is it that I lit this candle? Because I wrote over here, there are two ways of spreading light, right? So be the candle or the mirror. When you are the candle, you help this to reflect. And when you look in the mirror and they see you as a mirror, you are reflecting back to what they are to see in themselves. With that, I wish you an incredible week. I will see you next week. God bless. Bye-bye. Okay, if you're still here, every single episode, I forgot to put that, goes on YouTube. You can find me on YouTube, uh, Lisa Bubari, and I will be posting every single one on the next day. Have an incredible day. Bye-bye.